What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back for another shave. Tonight's shaving soap of choice is a new soap to the den and this is Henry Ek Victoria's Cognac and Cuban Cigars. This is their new uh, version 2 vegan based soap. Here's the puck right here. Brand new puck. The scent off the top of the puck I would say is probably medium strong and it's a very, you can get the cigar notes and the um, cognac notes. It's very well balanced and blended. Uh, here's a li list of the scent note profile. And here is a list of the ingredients. The brush I'm going to be using tonight is my Yaki Butterscotch Handle Brush here, synthetic brush. Razor of choice tonight is going to be my Joseph Rogers and Sons. The number, uh, I think it says, number six. And I'm going to finish off the shave with the matching splash here. Really nice splash. And let's get some water in the brush on the top of the puck here. And let's go to town. So my first time at using Henriette Victoria. The scent strength does increase slightly. Get a little more water in this. Yeah, looks good. So how's everybody doing? Hope everybody is well. Hope everybody had a nice week at work and a nice week period. The weekend is just getting started here. I'm just getting off of work now. I'm gonna have a quick shave and then I'm gonna go meet my buddy for 18 holes over at the course. Got a weekend full of golf. Gonna be playing tomorrow with a friend, and then Sunday, I'm gonna be playing in a, in a competition at the club. There's gonna be 28 guys playing, and we're all playing for a little bit of money. It's 25 bucks to get in. I think a $5 closest to the pin. In the last couple times I've played in competition, I've done pretty well and I've won something. Wow, this soap is pretty thirsty for a vegan base soap. Feels really, really good on the skin and the scent is awesome. If you guys like tobacco and boozy scents, you're gonna really, really enjoy this one. I think this is actually one of their most popular scents. They do have a couple of other offerings. I'm gonna leave a link in the description um, of this video so you can go check out their website and check out their other offerings. They also have a triple milled soap, which is a towel-based soap. But it's a lot more expensive. I had a chance to smell this soap while I was at uh, Maggard Razors in uh, Michigan, and I ended up getting an aftershave splash. I was on a budget while I was there. I didn't want to spend over a certain amount of money. And uh, it was a really tough choice. I had to put some soaps back, and this was one of the ones I put back because the other soaps that I had in my basket, um, I couldn't leave the store without getting them. So I put this one on the side and figured I'd get it again some other time. You know what? I'm going to put just a little more water in this and we're good to go. That's a nice looking lather. Oh yeah. Nice looking lather. All right. And let's go to town here. First pass. We're working with three days of growth. Oh, yeah. All right, this razor here is a wedge, a straight up wedge. And the feel of a wedge is a lot more different than, you know, a hollow. 
or a quarter hollow. From my experience with using wedges, they're not, I wouldn't describe this uh, type of a shave as a smooth shave. The razor cuts, but it has a kind of pull to it. It isn't uncomfortable, but if you're not used to it, and you've never used a wedge before, you would probably think that the razor doesn't have a good edge on it. But every wedge I've used has always felt the same. Like you can see that it's not having trouble cutting, but it does have a pull and a tug to it that I think most people, or not, I shouldn't say most people, that some people would probably not, or probably not find very comfortable. When I first started using the wedges, I didn't like them, but it's grown on me. The more I use it, Yeah, I find the longer the beard growth, the more of a tug I feel. And the shorter the beard growth, it doesn't, you know, it feels pretty comfortable and smooth. The smoother it feels. All right, decent residual slickness. Decent residual slickness, I wouldn't buff with it, but it's decent and look at all the lather I got in that brush. <laughs> Look at that, it's crazy. Like a rope, like a rope of lather. So work is still really, really busy. Been burning or working a lot of hours, burning the midnight oil, you know, going in early, staying late. It's a good thing and it can be a bad thing too because sometimes at work, I don't know when to call it quits. There's times I should just be like, okay, that's it for the day. And then there's other times where I feel like I should stay later. Any of you guys feel that way too at work? What am I talking about work for? It's the weekend, let's relax, let's have fun. So what new soaps have you guys gotten in the den? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you, by the way, everyone who uh, wished me a happy birthday on my last video. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you all so very, very much. Had a really, really nice birthday. This is one of the soaps that I ordered. I have another one coming in, a set, and that's it. I did get some uh, samples sent to me too from uh, two people. One person will, re will remain anonymous because I didn't get their permission to mention their name. But the other person who sent me some stuff was uh, Six Eight Shaves. His name is Josh. He also has a YouTube channel. I'm gonna link the channel in the description below. I'll show you guys in a video some of the samples that were sent to me next time I post a video. And to the other gentleman who sent me some stuff, thank you very, very, very much. Your samples just came in yesterday. I'm really, really looking forward to using them. Have to Test out my bowl lathering skills. It's been a while since I've uh, bowl lathered. I like the face lather more than bowl lathering. For me, it just prepares my I feel like I get a better shave.
because it prepares my skin. Where if I uh, bowl lather, I need a pre-shave oil and I don't have any pre-shave oils or bombs anymore. So I might have to get some in the den here. I was looking at the cube, but I think the price of the cube went up significantly, so I might not get the cube. Eh, who knows, maybe I will, we'll see. Do one more pass here, just to clean things up. I'll do a full pass. Not a whole lot left to shave. That razor is really, really efficient. And when I first used that razor, I'm gonna be honest, I did not like it and like the way it felt, but I just kept using it. And to be honest with you, it's grown on me. I'm used to the feel. And for whatever reason, I ended up starting to like it. I don't know, have any of you guys had this uh, same experience with uh, wedges? Let me know. Definitely a different feel. This razor is old too. Sheffield uh, steel. Cool little barber's notch there. I tried to look it up and see how old the razor was and I couldn't really find conclusive, um, you know, conclusive news to get an age on this razor. Almost done here. One little bit to go and then that'll be it. All right, and that'll do it. Fantastic shave, awesome soap, awesome scent. Henriette Victoria, some good stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and put on, put on the matching splash here. Here is a list of the ingredients. Good healthy dose. All right. And that's going to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend. Take care, and I'll see you again soon for another shave.